<laughs> now that we don't have a heat advisory, Sandra. But I felt a little more comfortable out there Last this morning. Last night, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, good for positive thinking, Steve. <laughs> no, it, I mean, perhaps. I mean, there's definitely not expecting it to be as humid this afternoon. And because of that, they have ditched the heat advisory. We'll see if one's issued, though. Because, you know, yesterday we did hit a high of 94 degrees. For a heat advisory, the humidity has to be at the point where we feel like 105 to 110. So maybe not quite there, but it's nonetheless August to eat dog days. Beautiful scene in Boca, very calm Boca Inlet. And skies are clear when you look out in that vicinity. We do have some showers and storms over the Bahamas right now. And there's an isolated downpour here just to the south and the west of Fort Passenger. But uh, overall, it's a decent morning. We're just soupy out there, sticky and muggy. It's 74 in Stewart. Good morning. 77 in Indian Town. 78 out at PBIA. And 81 in Boca leading the way with the heat. We're going to rise quickly to at least at a minimum 89, but most spots about 92, 93. And you can see a good coverage of late day storms. A couple of these could be strong, so maybe some impact situations this afternoon. But overall, we're not expecting anything severe, though we did get one severe storm yesterday. So heads up, you'll see the late day storms. That's really due to the daytime heating. Future track is showing some more of that as we head through. And basically, if we take a look, at our wider view here, it looks like a front's going to be getting through here. And you're going, what in the world? This time of the year, it is not going to cool us down whatsoever. Uh, but basically, by 530 tonight, it's sort of serving as an impetus or trigger to kind of keep those storms somewhat away from us and we're inland. And then after that, we're going to be back to the status quo with our routine. So what is the routine? Above average temperatures, no break with that. We're going to be in the 90s, but above the average high, which is actually 90. Afternoon storms are likely each afternoon because of that daytime heating, which destabilizes stuff. And then we're going to see a tropics being quiet, at least for now. Peak of the season comes September the 10th, 11th. But we have some concern because the marine heat is excessive. We've seen some records with the ocean temperatures, including even in the North Atlantic this year. And I showed you in the tropics that just off the Keys, we have the heat pressing almost 90. So that's a concern. It could negate the El Nino effects this hurricane season because, you know, heat just fuels tropical cyclones. So that's something we have our eyes on. And you can see it's 87 degrees even in our local waters. One to two feet with the seas, though, and winds more easterly this afternoon at 10 knots. So it should be a good day out on the water. Very high UV index today, as you might imagine, 93 to 40% coverage of some late day downpours and storms, lower 90s, a little near average Thursday, Friday, and then we're back with the heat with maybe a little dust trying to mix in Saturday and Sunday into the 93 to 95 degree range through the start of next week. Yasmin.